Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, gonna be taking a little bit of a break from the MR2. This video is gonna be on the Gladiator and I am gonna be addressing a common issue uh, that anybody with a Gladiator and a hard top will most likely come across sometime in their ownership. Uh, seems to be a flaw with the uh, rear glass that is used in these hard tops. Uh, Rams actually have the same problem. Uh, the frame of the glass is made of plastic and over time it can crack, uh, lose its ability to seal, and you will get water coming through uh, around the back window surround. Um, I've actually had this replaced once under warranty after about a year and a half of ownership. Took it in because I had leaking, they replaced the glass. It's a pain when they do it. Um, they had to shatter the glass to get it out. I'm still finding glass in the interior underneath the back seat and I can see some sitting up on top of heat shields between the body and the uh, bed when I look down that I need to try and get out at some point in time. Um, also, it's there's a high risk of damage to the paint on your top when they're doing this because it's so hard to get the encapsulated glass out of the top and they ended up scratching my top and it had to be repainted at that point in time. So, um, not a fun process. So I had that done about a year and a half after ownership. A year later, started noticing water coming through again. So I'm on my second rear window and it is leaking. It's not a terrible leak at this time, but it is leaking. So it's enough that I wanna address it. So if you go online, there are millions of threads on this. Uh, lots of people have this issue. And there is a forum post I found where somebody has found a fix for this. Uh, there's two common options. One is to use a self-leveling window sealer. Um, and then the other is to use, there's a type of silicone vacuum hose you can use uh, that will go in between the glass and the fiberglass top and it just helps to keep the water from sitting in the channel. So I'm gonna go that route because I am still under warranty. And if this doesn't work and I really am feeling up to it, I may just go back to the dealer and look into having the window replaced for a third time. So either way, this is like 13 bucks in silicone off of, uh, or silicone vacuum hose off of Amazon. So it's not that expensive of a thing to look into and it's a pain in the butt to go through the dealer to have this done. So I'm gonna try it myself first before I go through that hassle. All right, so inside I have the upper trim panel off. Uh, it's kind of funny, when I went to take it off, there was one clip already broken from when this was done at the dealership. So I'm gonna have to look into uh, replacing the, t the one piece of the panel that the tab snapped off. But anyway, if you look carefully, you can see a couple of spots where water has been coming in and resting. You can see the dirt on top of the plastic there. A um, couple of little spots like that. It's not too bad. There's one on the end down there. Uh, so it's basically just where the water has kind of seeped in and is settling on top and then it'll eventually drip down the inside of the glass. It's You're not going to be able to see with the reflection but there are water marks on the inside as well as the outside. So um, and then you can kind of see just, you know, yeah, it's hard to see where it is, but you can kind of faintly see the drip marks on the inside. Uh, anyway, so, you know, it drips down, uh, it seeps through. One thing I will say is ever since leveling this with the leveling kit, I'm not noticing it as much. So I think that's helping from, you know, keeping water sitting up against the glass in that little channel on the back. Uh, it actually is draining out versus just sitting there resting and seeping through. But either way, I am gonna go ahead and try and get this fixed. Uh, because, yeah, I just don't want the water coming back here. It sits on this shelf here. You can see some dirty water marks, and then it'll run down the plastic. I mean, I've got the subwoofer down here. You can see that light mark there from where water has run down in the past. So something I definitely want to get rid of and erase because I don't want water getting into my subwoofer and ruining it. So uh, that is the big reason I'm doing this. So next I'm going to show you the silicone vacuum line I'm using. All right, so this is what you use. It's basically a seven millimeter vacuum line and it's made of silicone. So it's a little bit heavier duty than just rubber and it should hold up over time. Um, you can get it off of Amazon. I'll try and put the link to the actual forum post that has the instructions on how to do this fix in uh, my comments for this video. So that way you'll be able to find the information. But basically what you do is uh, I'm gonna clean out this uh, lip here, you know, between the glass and the body. I'm gonna clean it with, uh, I've got a mixture of alcohol and distilled water in a squirt bottle. And then just use a microfiber rag, wipe it out real quick. And then you use the same liquid as a 
lubricant per se and then you just slowly squeeze this in there just so it's kind of flush with the top and the glass you just basically want it filling this gap so it presses against both sides and seals everything up so i've got this little uh, tool here for doing uh, vinyl decals so i'm going to use that kind of as my spreader to try and keep the pressure level and get it as level as possible so i'm going to go ahead and get everything cleaned and then i will run it i'm going to start actually in the center of the top i'll leave it loose because you don't want to stretch anything too much and just you know have it dangle down the sides and then i can cut the ends as needed uh once i get to the bottom of the sides but it'll go you know across the top and then down both sides to the bottom so i'm gonna go ahead and get to work on getting this cleaned all right so this is just after a couple of minutes slowly working it in i basically started in this corner here and just slowly running my thumb over it um the scraper that i was planning on using it doesn't really work because there's just two differentiating height or two differentiated heights just trying to like basically keep it smooth like this and you know run my thumb and make sure there's no like high spots trying to keep it somewhat even it's not the easiest thing to do and you can manipulate it a little bit uh, but just keep squirting alcohol on and just slowly work it in and I'm gonna go all the way around down and then I'll cut it when I get to the bottom there and then I'll come back and finish this side which I have it hanging loosely down here um, and I'll just get it put in the groove and then cut any excess off that I need to. All right, and then here you can see I've gone all the way across the top. And wrapped around the corners. So I just need to put the two sides in. Really goes pretty quick. I mean, and what I did is after getting most of it seated to kind of where I was happy, I sprayed over the whole thing and just slowly just went back and forth, back and forth with my thumbs. Uh, you know, when you have the alcohol distilled water mixture on it, uh, it makes it pretty easy to, you know, just slide everything into place as needed. So, um, top's pretty good, so I just need to go work the sides in and then cut it to length, and this should be done. All right, well, here it is, final result. You can see where I just kind of cut it and tucked it under the bottom there. Goes up the side, all the way over the top. And then same thing down this side, wrapped around the bottom, just tucked it in at the bottom there. So I think that feels like it should seal pretty well. Um, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. And the best thing about it is it is completely reversible. So if it doesn't work, and like I said, I need to take it back to the dealership for a third back glass. They can't say I messed with the car too bad because this is just a simple seal that's wedged in between the gap and comes right out there's nothing permanent about it so um i'm going to just check the inside clean everything up in there and then uh yeah once there's a good rain i can hopefully see if this thing holds up as well as it's supposed to it seems like it will and being that my leaks weren't terrible i'm hoping this will do the job to fix them all right and so since it was a nice day outside i decided go ahead time to pull the hard top freedom panels off and go ahead and put the best top sunrider back on for the season so as you can see i got that opened up and in place so uh yeah i think that's what uh, is going to finish this video off um you know if uh, there's any leaks or any problems i'll definitely come back and report but uh, hopefully we are all set as far as that back window goes i'll keep an eye on it and uh, i'll post a follow-up comment or video or something along those lines just to give uh, an update on how things are as far as leaks in the back glass. So um, if you like what you're seeing, if you're taking anything away from this video, learning something, please hit like, please hit subscribe, please hit the notification bell. Uh, definitely going to have more content coming out on the Gladiator as well as the MR2 and Cobra. Uh, that being said, thank you for watching and have a great day. All right, so I lied. Um, we ended up having a really good rainstorm come through the next day. Pretty much rained all day long. So I figured why not get a uh, follow-up on the same video. So out here in my truck, it's the next day after a day of rain and it's sitting outside. And looking at the glass, there is no sign of any water intrusion anywhere. Uh, looking along the top, everything is clean. No drip marks running down the windows or anything like that. So everything I cleaned up the other day, uh, the glass all looks nice and beautiful. Uh, so yeah, I think this is a win as far as putting in the vacuum strip uh, around the glass frame. 
Um, I mean, I'll definitely keep an eye on it, and if something changes, I'll update. But uh, I think we're good. And on that note, thank you for watching, and have a great day.